Welcome to Cocktails with Tia and the Jays. My name is Turquoise. This is my mom, Janice, and my sister, Janice. I'm the voting process. I started making inappropriate comments. Um, also, another teacher at Catholic school resigned from telling a black student to kneel and apologize and more. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. The new Georgia law, it impacts the voting process, meaning new identification requirements. If you're gonna vote by mail, um, it's gonna be illegal to provide food or water to those standing in line and more. So mom, Janice, you mentioned this actually like about a week ago, I think. It's sad yeah. that they yeah. passed it. Yeah. I'm really discouraged. People tell me, oh, it doesn't matter if you're white or black. Bad people is bad people, but that's a lie. These people are really taking it too far. They hid in the room while he signed the paper. Nobody wasn't in there black. A lawmaker, a black lady, knocked on the door. You know what they did to her? They arrested her. For what? She's a lawmaker. Color that skin, I don't care what nobody says. They doing too much. There's a lot I have to say about this because for one, like I, she has been talking about it, but I've been watching and I'm thinking, you know, there is no way they're gonna do this. I'm like, why would they do this? This is just completely repressive. Why would you do this? Uh, but what sticks out to me about the law is, okay, so there's already limited places. They're taking away ballot boxes mm -hmm. in certain areas. They're uh, closing some locations earlier. Mm -hmm. They're trying to make it so you can't vote on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and the craziest one is that you're, it's against the law to give them food or water mm -hmm. while they're in line. That is just, and when you think about it, you think about this last election, Georgia, they made history. Georgia, they had the, one of the highest voter turnouts in their area. Like they, they flipped seats, they flipped, they turned, went from uh, red to blue, more people voted ever, more people of color voted ever, and for them to want to now change laws because of that, that says something, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That says something they don't, they're always talking about voter fraud. Wouldn't that be voter fraud if mm -hmm. you're trying to stop people from voting? Yeah. If you're trying to make it harder for people to vote? And they're saying, oh no, it's about um, making the, uh, voting secure. Well, first of all, the, the CB, uh, the FBI and the DOJ, they said that it was the most secure election ever. And that was people under, Trump's uh, administration that we're saying it was the most secure election ever. So why would you want to change that? What it said, it's Jim Crow all over mm -hmm. again is what it is. It's Jim Crow. And and and, then, and I just I have to say this because when I argue with people about black people saying, hey, our votes don't count, we don't need to vote. I, I get into it with people like that all the time. This proves right here that it, it means something yes. if you vote. Because mm -hmm. if it didn't, they wouldn't they be doing be going this. So hard. They, yeah. wouldn't, if they wouldn't be trying so hard to stop your vote if it didn't matter. But we still going to get past it because as long as we keep a proper ID and don't be in jail when it comes time to vote, we still can get out there and vote. So what we have to go, we don't need an absent ballot to vote. We'll still get out there and vote. We still will show them. But that's what it's like history just anything. repeating it's itself like, over and over and over and all the time. Yeah. It's just, it, for, oh, sorry. For those ahead. who don't know um, about Jim Crow, and I hope you all do, should have learned this in like kindergarten, um, it, it was a state and local law that enforced, legalized um, racial segregation in southern United States. So, of course, Georgia is a southern state. And to me, it's just, it's insane. And I honestly feel like none of this would have happened if it would not have been for Trump not winning the election. Because everyone was so upset, you know, his, his people highly upset when he did not win. And um, I feel like that's honestly where it stemmed from. But you also think about when Hillary didn't win against Trump, 
they were saying, suck it up, snowflakes. Mm -hmm. uh, except that he's your president. Now y'all got to eat wow. the same crow. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. that's that's how elections work. You mm -hmm. know, that's how this works. You should want more people in the country mm -hmm. vote, not less. But we're going to continue to vote. But And what pisses me off is when you... Look at these, look, if you look at any of the videos of the lines, particularly in Georgia, when they had the primary, when they had the general election, then they had to do a runoff. They did videos of these people in line, lines going miles, miles, miles. People waiting for hours mm -hmm. in line. So make food and water illegal if somebody gives them food and water? No, you know, pack, your own, in, pack your own food and water. Yeah, pack, pack you your own food and water, yeah. but... The fact that y'all are you trying to put a like, like starve them and uh, yeah. let them get just dehydrated. Just like they took that black the lady in time. jail when she just knocked on the door. Oh, she's a They arrested her quicker uh -huh. than they mm -hmm. arrested the insurrection mm -hmm. man that mm -hmm. fucking stormed yeah. the capital. That burns me. That burns me up. too. That that this this is so crazy to me that this law passed. It's so crazy to me that this woman was literally dragged out of. Mm -hmm. She's a lawmaker. She's not even a, just a civilian yeah. outside or a person. Mm -hmm. She's a lawmaker. She has a right to know what's going on in that room mm -hmm. and for her to be dragged out and arrested but when people stormed the capital defense of Trump, they, they, killed, every, they, 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 the yeah, they killed the officer mm -hmm. and they didn't let some of these people out of jail yeah. already yeah. and this is crazy to me this is just and then if you can't see what's going on if you still blind to what the hell is going on you're clearly ignorant you're yeah clearly definitely ignorant. so don't Tell me all people is good and bad. Yeah, it is good and bad. But these are literally people supposed to be working for us. Everybody. And, yeah, the whole United. They doing what they want to do. So don't hate on me because I hate them. And or then, if you do, I don't give a damn. And then on top of that, in the House, they were trying to pass the bill. is called the HR1, where it's a, a voting rights protection. It's basically... Uh, cancels out everything that just happened in Georgia well, and make it a federal them. law. Mm -hmm. Make it a federal law. But because of the filibuster, that's a it's not going of. to pass the mm -hmm. Senate. It passed the House, but it's not going to pass the Senate because the filibuster buster is the law where uh, they have it to where it has to be a certain amount of numbers of the majority instead of just the majority this is why trump didn't get impeached because mm -hmm. of the filibuster yeah because it was we more people to get that, rid of that. it was more people it was like 52 to 48 and he mm -hmm. still got away with it because yeah. of the filibuster yeah we need to get rid of that it should be i think it should be the majority period it should why should it have to be a certain number mm -hmm. the majority wins mm -hmm. that's how voting and stuff works yeah it's disgusting like they say history do always repeat yeah, but you know what y'all we're gonna stand up even if i don't know nobody gonna stand up i'm gonna stand up i'm gonna stand up and i'm getting out there and vote it's i think voting is coming up uh for a new mayor here i'm mm -hmm. voting i got my paper i got to get out there and stand in line but i don't care i'm gonna stand in line because i don't want no republican to be mayor no more all right yeah and let's see here. That's all I have. Oh no, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Like I just don't get what is it Republicans are doing. Oh no, no, no. Okay. And uh, go, no, sorry, go ahead. I don't know what the Republicans are doing. Like if you want people to vote for you, like they I'm don't. not, I'm not just strictly a Democrat. I'm like, I'm for whoever is going to do the right thing. Right. Honestly. But I've been watching these Republicans I don't for more it. than four no, years. I, I've been At the full, I'm not, I'm a Democrat. It makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. Even our Republican governor here, Pete Ricketts, talking, Pete about, some, it too. talking about some marijuana kills mm -hmm. and teaching sex education is demonic and evil. And so he, he don't have children? Yes, he has. know about their bodies and how their bodies work they need to know these things yeah this is why you got your motherfuckers running around here doing whatever all these bad things on marijuana you hear about it uh drink drunk driving yeah, yeah. I, I, I was about to say and that and alcohol is legal. see they know mostly black people smoke mm -hmm. they've got the opium the cocaine the crack 
Yeah, uh, the I what's that? I mean, yeah, they got all that. All we got is all the one and they're trying to take that away. They do, but mostly, and a lot of a lot of people who are you know Caucasian, they smoke marijuana. A lot of people, yes, yeah, everybody, we is think, nationally love. But I think black people kind of made it you know popular, like Jamaican. What it is? And well, yeah, the, but we're the also Caribbean, the ones they, that were mainly criminalized for it. Yeah, but I'm saying that. We made it, we put it out there, you know what I mean, to whereas... Not the more that we make the most songs every, about ganja. And then uh, every other race, they too busy doing opium, them uh, pills, uh, hair rhyme, uh, uh, I mean, that was a drug choice black, for rock stars. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to say that black, they, they call it black, what they used to call black it? Black Sabbath, the one with uh, Ozzy Osbourne? No, I was talking about the drug. They call oh, it black. I don't know. But I know what I'm I think it was. I'm asking you because you was in Cali. No, I know because I've been watching this <laughs> stuff on TV and I noticed they all never do. Cool, they be doing cocaine. Well, what about Cheech and Sean? They made me very popular. Yeah, they did. You know. Uh, Mexican yeah. guys. Maybe, but they're right. also not cocaine. Yeah, yeah, they're Mexican guys. Yeah. yeah. And we love me, us and Cheech and Sean. They were funny. Mm -hmm. Nice to be stuff. Yeah, yeah, mom loves yeah, Cheech and Sean. <laughs> if a movie come on right now, I still watch it. <laughs> All right, any uh, final words on that last topic? Oh, uh, no. Uh, pretty pretty just to make sure they don't right. stop your vote. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, please vote, because they wouldn't try to stop you from voting if it didn't. You know what's so crazy is this whole, this how you know Trump was like a racist. Because so many people, it's going so hard for him. Like, even though he didn't win the election, they're trying to make changes now because he didn't win. Right. Yeah, that is such, that, that, that literally that, shows Oh my God, that just makes how much racism is yeah, yeah. in America. Yeah. You know what, somebody said, and you know what, I, I, feel, I totally agree, it said the good thing that Trump did was that he brought all the racism. He brought, <laughs> he brought all of this stuff to the forefront because this man literally just lost an election and it's been proven that it wasn't fraud, there wasn't no, but they're still creating laws and stuff mm -hmm. like it's and they, they still lying. lying and they're they still, still lying. lying they're like sticking with it it makes no sense mm -hmm. it really makes no sense and Ted Cruz Ted Cruz and I can't think they need to be voted out too no they should be in trouble I don't see I, no but the way Ted it. Cruz was just talking the other day I think when they were talking about doing that in Georgia, they were saying why they should no gun laws. They mad about oh. gun laws. Oh, they they want to take away your right to vote more than they want to take away guns that kill people. Because you and know why they got all the guns. All these public shootings, though, at the malls, the gas stations. Mm. But no, the problem is Colorado. too many people are able to vote. That's what they want to stop, mm. not gun violence. But hey, I'm getting me a gun, y'all. And that's, I'm legal. That's so but you can't. I don't think there's anything against having a gun. But but you don't need no. But there should be. There, there, to shoot multiple there should be stipulations. You should have. You should have to be. I want you to do it in my yeah, body because way. a lot of these yeah. people bought a gun and within days did these crimes. Yeah, because that guy that just did that shit in the, uh, Colorado. Yeah, he had just before. bought a gun six days yeah, before. Yeah, six days before. So you know he had something. And he was see. already mentally unstable. Yeah, that's, see, that's, that's why people and need to be no. evaluated before you can just go out there and get a gun. Yeah. Like the first now, time. I don't try to evaluate me. But I also me. think it's but, not fair to put it on mental. I think it's not fair to put it on mental because a lot of people that have mental issues. Intelligent. They try to call crazy. Yeah. But everybody that has mental issues, majority of the people that have mental issues, they don't act out like that. They are usually abused. Like, you work in the system. Uh, you should know. I will say... But I guess that some of them people get a I swear, I, 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 was, I was about to say, I can't, I would never speak on anybody, but from the, my experience working in the field that I work in, I wouldn't put a gun in any of those Oh, I'm hand. not saying. Well, oh, a lot like, of people, oh, you know, people you qualify, but a lot of the people you deal with in particular, but say.
Well, you already had a client that like did something, right? Or tried not to do a, something. Not a gun. Not with a gun. But, just, but I'm saying instead of having somebody, or have somebody punch me, they for them to legally be able to just shoot them because they own a gun. Well, I agree with yeah. that, but I still think because it's not just like the people you work with. Because you and there's different levels. There's different levels to mental health issues. That's what I'm trying to say. Like you can be schizophrenic, or you could just be somebody that had. Anxiety. As a child, you was molested, so now you kind of you're uh, you're paranoid of being around certain you know genders, men, speak, whatever it is. That's different. But I wouldn't. But yeah, I wouldn't say that. Nah, this they would just go this uh, this one shit. day and start. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Because you yeah. uh, maybe you're not such a good example because you work with some very yeah. high level. But I am a perfect example because I see it. You have some very high level mental people yeah. that you work with. I'm referring to just like in general because there's a lot of just. Regular but just in general, them issues. people could be in a facility. Yeah, they just yeah. haven't been, you know, burned into. A facility. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's true. Good point. Like some yeah. of these Republicans, they should be in a facility, but ain't nobody. See, like the ones that have guns. That's what I'm saying. That's that why have they mad about it. They, 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 they get mad when some they think somebody trying to take something from them, but all they did they whole life is take from other people. Yeah. That's all the they think Trump. they is. But y'all stay to limit my safety. Don't, don't give no water and put you in jail. I'll bring some food and water and bring it out there. Because they know that I want you to put me in jail. All, all through this whole voting season of 2020, Everybody's there were celebrities yeah, with yeah, pizza and water. No, all you got to do, all you gotta do is bring your own food and water. Or better yet, me people outside can, location. How do people give them food before they go in? I was about to say that people can have food trucks out there yes. and say you. I might you have, have a food truck next time. time. Yes. And you I'll go, go there and, and serve free food and get the ID. I want them to put me in get jail. Get the ID. It's not about them. Yeah, I want to go to Georgia. I really want to go to Georgia and do that now because this is absolutely that would be so This is nice. And I will go to jail. I don't care. But I can finish talking stuff, they'll throw my ass out of the jail. I'm like, matter of fact, I want you to put me in jail. I want you to put me in jail. And I wish you would. I wish you would. It's insane. We are um, we are literally treated like we're not human. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so crazy to me. It's a it's a I feel like we're under a dictatorship. Like even though we're not, it seems that They're way. Trying to make because them, all yeah. they want to do is control everybody. And tell us what want to make do. us like fucking robots, mm -hmm. and that's not how the the world should. Uh, they better work. remember, only God can judge me. They better remember. But, they, 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 they they use God like if you believe in God and God doesn't believe in hate, how could you say that you are a person of Who God? Who says that? Christians, like all of these people, all of these Republicans, just, they don't like Christian values and they're trying to take away our They values. don't have Christian values. That's what I'm we saying. Like their That's what I'm saying. Now, that ain't right. That's the hypocrisy of it. How can you say you love God but hate his creation? It makes no they sense. They don't love God. It makes no sense. Everybody can say they're a Christian, but what kind of Christian are you? They showing us right here. They the kind of Christian I don't want to be. I'm my own. I don't need nobody to preach to me. I talk to God for myself. Better okay. you talk to God than to have somebody else talking to him for you. You asking for what you, what you want. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right, moving along. Girl, that was a good topic. Still there for like twenty minutes. Yeah. So, in New Jersey. A high school teacher was fired after comparing the COVID-19 pandemic to enslavement. Oh, he. <laughs> I don't see what they've got to do with it. When you're used to privilege, well, equality feels like oppression. Yep. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, from like. But he should. That's what I'm saying. Pandemic. That's the kind of stuff that makes me don't care for white people. They always talking down to blacks. But then when I say something, oh, people, people. No, That's you can it. tell. Yeah. We scramble, <laughs> but I don't care. But you can tell when they are 
not for you. Should I say it like that? Not mm -hmm. for you or don't want you to I wouldn't say it's just one race of people because there are no, a lot of people see. that don't like black people of uh, multiple races. Yeah, it's true. And there are a lot of people that I would say interchangeable. That's but true. There but is, hey, there no, is a power I have to tell you. You know what though? But you know what? what? All different people don't like blacks. That is true. But, but who try to control run the world? The 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 there are power structures that make things different. Because like what's happening in Georgia, there are power structures that make things different. But you know what? But we're all if we're okay. So like I will say, Hispanics, Asians, and Blacks are all on the same Native level. Native Americans, Native Americans all on us. Uh, they don't like people. none of us. Uh, even Caucasians are all on the same level. But who tries to control all those people? Caucasians. Caucasians. Even if the Asians don't like Black people, you know it, it's it's still. That's what I mean. Yeah, and, but just to compare it to enslavement, it's crazy to no, me. It, it makes and no it, sense. Yeah. The perfect so, thing for that is to say when you're used to privilege, mm -hmm. equality feels like a... For 14 days does not mean that you're locked against your will. And you can go out and keep us in the field locked against our will. That's what they're looking at. They're trying to keep us in the we field. Couldn't even leave the we couldn't even leave the you damn know, plantation. We couldn't even leave the goddamn field. You know, I saw a good uh, post for this uh, situation here. Oh, they have to wear masks out and about it is oppressive and they can't breathe but they had no problem wearing I can't breathe hoods. you know how many black they people they can't breathe in them clan hoods mm -hmm. but you know also the me because like George Floyd what, what did he keep saying to officer who was on his neck he couldn't breathe but for you, you can't, can't go into the grocery mask. store yeah you can't go into the restaurant for 20 minutes so you can stay home and then wear your mask yeah out. exactly come on you can't breathe. you have but no you, know you can't have any I, I have hate to tell, tell you that that if man. I do see somebody without a mask and they tell me I can't breathe with my mask on or if I'm some I'm a haul off I'm going to jail because I'm a haul off and knock the crap out because to me you're marking that man yeah. somebody was standing on his neck yeah. you can just because you don't want to smell your own breath, yeah. But don't say that to me because I'm going to haul off and hit you as hard as I can. I promise you. And that that was what makes me think about the stark difference about especially how black people are treated because, like, he was accused of using a counterfeit $20 bill and this cop felt like he had to just restrain him, <laughs> kneel him down, he hold him down. You got mushrooms where these men were apprehended they literally went into a, a store mm -hmm. or a, 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 a and they got and, and they, they just got started put shooting in jail and then getting talked to the black they're they taken down with, with kid gloves mm -hmm. dollar bill. it makes no sense mm -hmm. it makes no we know, sense we know america hates us yeah we know but it, it really, know I hate the jerk, but I hate America too. But no, the justifications for why is what doesn't make sense to me. And they don't even see their own. The other day, somebody did a news conference. But he did a news conference saying the insurrectionists, they love cops. Some of them cops let them in. They were hugging the cops. A cop was murdered and injured. But the in the the senator who said uh, I wasn't scared when it was them, but if it had I'm no shit like that, what the hell are you even talking you know, about? Black Lives Matter, I, they are peaceful. You know why they're scared of Black Lives Matter? Because they know they didn't did black people so dirty. You they expect us to be back. Even though we don't, I don't attack you because you're gonna do it eventually. Even though we even though you don't do it, that's just an excuse. I don't think they're. Afraid of us? I think they full of shit. I think they can abuse us, and they know they can get mm -hmm. away with it, so they do mm -hmm. it. And to get too many of us, and not enough of them, that that's when they scare. We are very powerful. We're resilient. It's very I wish we were quit fighting against each other. We're and I so wish all the other races mm -hmm. would get together, and we all stick together. I could be. I don't know how. We can take. I would down. know how. Uh, slavery. Like, that shit. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't maybe because I wasn't. You know. Like in those days, but damn, I, I don't we were together you know and women they didn't they, they, they brought a certain amount over here from Africa. And many of them it wasn't that issues. many. By the time they got here, they was mostly sickly. And then when you had them babies, 
the babies can't help you. You, you know what I mean? Scrambled. They took your babies away. You always get scrambled. You know, they take the babies away. The Sorry, babies y'all. Can't we be talking about some real shit. Sorry, Facebook, if you don't like it. But hey, they shouldn't like you shouldn't like it when the other people be on Facebook telling stories. I hear crazy stuff. Cause I hear, I hear, I hear Donald, I hear Donald, I hear Donald Trump got his account back. Now how did that happen? When he just started a resurrection? He's Donald Trump. Well, you know what? I'm Janice Jones. Yeah. They train Donald Trump like if he's a guy. Well, you know what? They gonna, they gonna like meet the real hey, guy. But you know what's so funny is like, like I said, these people claim to be Christian, and uh, it's like they're doing exactly what the Bible said, false idol worship. Y'all mm-hmm. doing everything that... They're Christian. They're treating him like he's the second coming. They do that, they do that with if anything, that would make too. him the Antichrist, wouldn't it? They do that with celebrities all the time, too. Yes, yeah, he was the Antichrist. I told y'all. He's really coming off like the Antichrist. Like, to have that many people, like, went to the point that they, they want to kill me. Like, some dude calling the show was like, I would die for my president. I'm like, what the hell is Well, your here? president show <laughs> won't die for you. <laughs> but you he die for wouldn't die for you in half. Y'all, I don't think he pardoned any of the ones he that did. was in the Not resurrection, in the but he tried to pardon his family. But he's also trying to make it seem like what they did wasn't bad, so he's trying to back him up that way. You know what? He didn't back them up because at first he said he was going to walk down there with them. He when did. he realized they he was did. going, yeah. he decided not to go. Now, yeah, if your president wants to start some did. mess, best thing for him to do is be in the front of the line. Mm-hmm. Don't hide behind get in the front of the line. Yeah, and th- this is just Going and going and going. It's too much. It's It's too much. uh, Next story. Okay. Okay. So, uh, a white headmaster at a New York Catholic school resigns after telling a black student to kneel and apologize the African way. Now, that was messed up. He stated that um, African student father told him one time that the way that Nigerians apologize, they actually kneel when they're doing their apology. And so he, the kid did something bad. He wants the kid to apologize and want him to kneel. I feel like, and number one, the kid is, there's a difference, is African American and not Nigerian. That's not his custom. He, he, that's not something that he's, he's used to doing. And then number two, coming from a Caucasian person, it definitely comes off the wrong. Yes, yes. It is racist. Uh, you lucky that was my kid because I even went, if there was you know what I did? I would have went up there and took his head and made him kneel at my feet. He, That's he, what he, he should have been highly aware, like, okay, I mean, I said because mm-hmm. it is insensitive. Hey, I think and they know, but they cultures. don't care. I yeah. think they know, but they don't care. They think they can sneak, sneak up. Something in there that hurts our feelings or make us feel bad, they do it. Because like, I have no consequences. He must have that, said, get, get out of jail, boy. That you makes know? me sad. Like, there's a lot of stories like this going around. It's sad. And it's cool, too. Do it. yeah, and, it's and disgusting. School, it's crazy. I, right before we started the show, I read a story about a teacher who had been supposedly having this issue with this 12-year-old boy, African-American boy, in his Zoom classes. So uh, they had a Zoom meeting with the mom. And then after the meeting ended, the teacher didn't end the call. She thought she did, but the mom and the son was still on the call. And she told her husband, these niggas, dead. She like, should be fired. Off to my son. He just, he lies all the time. Talking about the boy. She should be It's always black people. They always doing this. Like just going off on black people and the mom. That's the, the way son. all the teachers feel. She don't know. That's the way, I hate to say it. That's the and, way the teachers and, 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 and you know what's funny is, it's all along she's saying, saying it's the kid, and then when she think ain't nobody looking, she talking bad about the little boy and black people in general, which proves the little boy was telling the truth. truth. You just, she just don't like it. Is this the she one that like uh, you said had mixed children? No, um, that's a different That story. was at a state. That, that, that was just a woman, that, and that was a white woman that had mixed children. Mm-hmm. Went off on a uh, sales that's man, what I don't a like. black dude. I don't like it because you got a mixed child. You think you should something get wrong with somebody, a nigga. No, but something is but bad. That's wrong. Wrong. Her name is like something something wrong with the But that, that story with that woman is interesting because she also, if people went to her Instagram and started investigating her after that incident, she got videos on there. Like she took a picture of her kids saying, this, these people exist because of the slave trade. 
and she's got a video of the uh of a picture of herself saying uh woke up as a black girl yesterday woke up as a black girl today with what? this weird picture and then uh she did a maga video talking about some if black lives matter then why don't you sleep with black men and she had a maga hat on while she was doing it she just the woman just seems like something she's off something's wrong with her she seems very crazy and uh her uh, black baby, she's got like four kids, and the her black baby dad gonna say on the he apologized to the black chick because the woman refused to apologize for using the M But you know what he went her and for? She think the I same way. I don't think way. they're together anymore. She, said, said, she feel the same way about you that she do he said, uh, uh, He's a uh, concern for his kids, and apparently they're yeah, having to get But he had the kids. Like he literally got custody of the kids from her, but she just got it back. Like not and that's the way she was. How she acts. You know, she may be a little too cuckoo. She may try to harm her own kids. Yeah, I agree. PTSD involved. And you know what's so sad is in the video of the bagel store with her calling the dude in where her oldest daughter, mixed girl, like looked horrified. She looked horrified. The way those poor kids, they gonna turn out like Kiki White. Kiki White fucked up. Mm mm. One minute you black, one minute you ain't. Uh, I can't be black. Well, and then when everybody get on your on your case, you black and black. If you got a white mother and she raised you, you know nothing about being black. I hate to tell you, if your black parent ain't involved and you got a white parent, your parent don't know how to teach you how to. It really depends on the how to embrace your black. But it does. It does depend on the no, parent. I'm telling but you. I will say it seems to be a common denominator when it comes to situations like this. Okay, take Megan Merkel for instance. She hasn't said no problematic shit with like that. She has a black mom. Right. A black parent. Right. Right. That's what. That's what I'm saying. That was around. This but I don't care. Wrong. I'm saying but if a black, black parent black has to be involved there. In you that see? that's the only way you can learn something about your black culture. Dad was around. Well, you know what? He can teach your shit. What he thought he okay, was. Okay, I want to say. Uh, okay, I want to say this. I feel like. Wow. Well, I don't, I don't think people care. But people probably look at me sideways from saying this. I feel like in order to really know your. I want to offend anybody. I feel like the best. If your mother is black, to teach you. If you have a black grandma, I feel like it should come from a woman. Because a lot of black guys don't even like black, black women. women. That's true. So they can't really teach you about being black and they hate themselves. You or know what I teach mean? you about being a proud black woman. Yeah, they don't yeah you know what I mean? So I feel like if it's a black woman involved, that's different. But I don't feel like a black man can really teach their mixed kid about that because they. Like I just said, you know, really they want to be white women. too. I said you be want to be so white I, too. I feel like in the in the sense, eh, Kiki White dad being involved doesn't matter. I don't think Megan Markle mom being involved something different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then um, I don't. Yeah, I don't feel like somebody who is not who doesn't understand about being black. You can you can always look out the window. To see how somebody else is living their life, I could I could look at the neighbor like, oh, I live this way, but I really don't understand how it looks. I'm not that person. Yeah, you don't live in that house. Yeah, yeah, you know. So I can't even if I even if I have the closest friend that's not the same ethnicity as I am, I cannot be like, well, I understand what you're going through, and I can explain this to my kid. No, I, I really don't understand because I'm not living in your shoes. And we would never know what what it's like to be white because we're, we're black. not. Yeah, and yeah. I will never say I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I no matter how many, I just say like, you know what it's like to live as a white person because yeah, you've never been white. Right. It's but I, it makes me mad when white people say because just because they married to or hang around. Yeah. But yeah, you know what? Don't, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. You may be married to somebody black, but when you get with your white friends, I know for a fact you act privileged. If there's nobody of black around the city, you act privileged, and I don't care who you are. And I can say there's a lot of, because I, I have a lot of um, friends, associates who are of other ethnicities that have black children. They're super cool, really cool. I love them to death. But I don't think that they'll be able to ex explain to their mixed kids, and then I will be able to explain. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just something that could, and vice versa. All right, uh, Jenny, you want to talk about Megan McCain, who is John oh, McCain's daughter? Oh, yes. I want to talk about something that she said that, well, she got dragged on Twitter. And it's crazy to me because 
she was she made they were discussing how Tammy Duckworth, uh, who was a congresswoman, she said she wanted Biden to um, appoint a, a agent or Island Pacificer to his cabinet, and Meghan McCain had the nerve to. My norm, some kind of minority is that more important than qualifications. And a lot of people took offense to that because you're missing the point. There are a lot of qualified minority people, a lot of qualified minority people that don't get the opportunity for positions in a cabinet like that and things like that. So uh, for her to even suggest that, uh, she. Uh, she don't know nothing. No, no, but I'm sorry, y'all. I got sidetracked. Sorry. But um, she got where she the qualifications her co-hosts co on the show have. Mm -hmm. We're talking about some, uh, well, you're only hiring them to meet a quota because uh, uh, the, there was an Asian group who sued hard. hiring uh, administering in their uh, school like accepting their uh, applications uh, to more black students than Asian students saying they only did it because they were black these are students that had old either a high IQ it's just who did they decide to let in and for Meg to say that it's they're just letting black people in. They're just letting women in. That just in. goes That's to show a lie. You're the one. She don't know, know what she's what talking you about been. because nepotism. You know, most of those Ivy League schools just had whoever went there. Their kids automatically went there. Mm, yeah. it had nothing to do with their IQs or their yeah. GPAs. But black these people, people got to have iron they way G high GPAs. They are smart. They Harvard are smart. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like Turkey Harbor, like, and, and you know what's funny? And then you in that book for uh, that yeah. book with that. I was told Harvard. Harvard. No, you, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, but yeah. you in that book same. too for uh, the uh, your yeah. grade point average. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we got so These people like, yeah. are qualified, and if you're saying you just want uh, white people that have done the job because they were getting the job because it was passed down to them, not that they were qualified for the job. Just like money was passed down. Like to her. Like you, like you are not a journalist. You are not, you, you're on a talk show talking about all Something these that different you don't things. Even know and half the time about. you don't even know what the hell you She's were talking so about. Annoying. She is very annoying on that show. But I, I haven't had nothing against her like, until today. I mean, I like I mean, I mean no, she her. says a lot of stuff that but I don't like. I just there heard things that that she she's very problematic but there are some things that i have agreed with her with but this really pissed me off because you don't even deserve to be sitting where you're sitting right now you don't even deserve to have you are literally there that's because john mccain's your dad so and you want to talk about somebody else's qualifications you got a lot of fucking they're more qualified than her exactly that just take me Would off and that's quite privilege right there yeah. like you're too blind to see that you even you're even sitting there because not because of how great you are but because who your dad is right mm -hmm. and then it makes me mad that white people i ain't white privilege or i don't like white people oh you're loving it because soon yeah. as they take it or away, where is my privilege soon as they where start treating like you right. soon as they tr start treating you like a brown person or some other person then <laughs> that that's gonna be a problem and you know, just like they say, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I'll that. Yep. Okay. Um, our okay. last topic is Derek. What's his name? Derek. Derek James. James. I don't know who this man is. But apparently, he cheated on his wife. Yes, he's a relationship uh, guru. He's always making videos. Okay, this is my thing about the whole situation. I wanted to talk about this because I have a lot to say about the situation because just from what I've seen in the aftermath of it. So some uh, there's another blogger woman who exposed him, saying how because he always does videos where he's like, ladies, if these are the signs of a man cheating, and you know don't put up with it, and what to look for in a man, to watch out for in a man. He basically warns women what to look for bad signs in a guy, and so a lot of women watch him because they're like, yeah, you know what, I have noticed things like that. And but as it turns out, he's describing exactly who he is because he's been so he's basically. I would say he's been putting women up on game, mm -hmm. but he got a lot of backlash. But his wife didn't listen to what he was saying. Well, no, I, I, I didn't mean, listen. Be like, nigga, that sound like you. Well, Maybe she knew. She, well, apparently they did a video together they, uh, explaining the situation and how she said she did leave him. She even filed for a divorce. 
and um, after a while, like he said, they were saying how they went to God and they, he, you know, found a way to change his ways and that she was going to give him another change, blah, blah, blah. Same bullshit. That's he's gonna, he's gonna continue to cheat. But so there, the reason why I want to talk about it is because of the aftermath of it. They're like memes, and they're all making fun of him. But mainly, they seem to be making fun of his wife and how she appeared in the video. She wasn't wearing it. They keep saying she was wearing a bonnet. She wasn't wearing a bonnet. It was like one of those like little beret hat things, those little crochet hat things that she was wearing over her head and glasses. She was dressed very modest, and they were saying, oh, there were women. And men that were saying, oh, if she had dressed better, you know, maybe he got cheated on by who like she when they said Beyonce got cheated on. Who was she dating? Hey, Holly Berry got cheated on. Holly Berry got cheated on. Now, if you don't cheat on Holly Berry, you're just a cheater. And Perry, the thing that drives me crazy is we're never supposed to be comfortable. Like, sometimes yeah. it's a lot of work fucking, you know, looking like this. She, <laughs> sometimes you you want to just be in chill mode and relax. Yes, exactly. exactly. They, they ashy elbows, they ashy but knee like caps. Look so We're practically so wearing the same outfit every day, practically. But we got to look like models all day in yeah. the house. And come for like, oh, like trying to come at women like, this y'all king and this and this and that. was warning us about the bad things that men do also turns out to be a bad thing that makes all of y'all look for even following him and then they're bringing up this Kevin Samuels dude saying yeah y'all should be listening to him he already was exposed oh, as a scam true. Marcus himself he's twice divorced and he's why are y'all comparing these men I just want to say, anybody looking for relationship advice from these bloggers online are fools. All of them are scamming y'all. Ain't what you do? I think All of them the best way to get into a good relationship, work on yourself. Work right? on yourself. Yeah, that way you right. you'll know what you want exactly. and you'll know what but you you'll put up, put up yes. with. Yes. yes. I have a Why is work? This, was he cheat? Was, was his name Derek? Mm -hmm. Was he cheat? Another, like a couple of women have come out. She said he was at her house a week ago. Was this his way of telling his wife that he was cheating? He no, no, because she had left. They had supposedly broken up a year ago because she found out he was cheating. And she had left him and went to a whole other state and lived, lived with her mom. And he was like flying out back and forth trying to get her back and stuff. They explained it all when they did the video together. Mm -hmm. So she knows he was cheating. She said, I told him if he did it again, I was going to leave. And I filed for divorce, but she came back. So he's uh -huh. not going to cheat. He's going to keep mm -hmm. cheating. He's going to keep cheating. You know what I was Because she keeps coming back. You can't say all men. But, but, but no, I'm you. Uh, uh, yeah. The point I'm making is this, especially with the men that are like happy this is happening to this man. It's like this. Uh, somebody made a good analogy. If I give you, if I put 11 ch uh, jelly donuts on the table and one of them is filled with blood, are you going to trust the, these jelly donuts or are you going to say no to all of them? I'll say no to You'll all of them. You'll say no to all of them. That's the analogy that I'm making here. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't you know, saying you, I was saying it in general. Um, oh yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, let me clarify. You know how I would literally go, and this is, this might not be good, it might be seen as being toxic, but I would literally go into a relationship probably with those assumptions. You know what I mean? That's probably not good to have because they won't give me my You already don't all. trust them. Yeah, but that that's kind of, instead of you can tell somebody in it, or what is it like, um, innocence of proving guilty? I kind of have that mind frame, like, all right, you have to, to me, you're going to be guilty first, then you have to kind of work your way up. No, you can't start a relationship like that. I do. But some time. people, I they are good, and then you guys may meet somebody that's been a cheater their whole life until they got with you. Let me tell you this. You and know, what I was so that's the way that I go. men fake who they are. Yeah, I go into, I've been in, a few relationships yes and i literally bit. went yeah just a little bit i'm not out there like that um into the mind frame like that 
Like, I'm not going to trust somebody fully. And then that way when something happens, I'm not the type that's like, oh, I can never move yeah, on. Poor me, poor me. Oh, trust, trust has I'm so depressed. Mm, trust trust like, I'm like, okay, the fuck you. Like, I already, like, I never had any expectations. That people expect, especially women, to go in automatically just opening up the that world. Is. You have to have guards up because you yeah. don't know. You, you're getting, when you're getting to know somebody, you have to have a guard up because you don't know what their intentions are. You don't know who they are. You have to get to know I'm who they saying, are. First. Even though most That's men cheat. Up. That's crazy. Somebody you meet, you may meet somebody that's a. Out different results, the mm -hmm. same thing. That's what I'm saying. I don't want no right to think I'm a man hater because I'm not. But it's just, you know, it's just. I don't hate the way I don't. Uh, what it is is I, I feel like there's just too much dealing with men. This is mm -hmm. I feel like this 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 is why a lot of women choose to be single, or why a lot of women say I don't need a man, or I'm strong and independent. Mm -hmm. It's because of stuff like this. It's like too you literally drama. don't know what to trust, and and, and it's funny. Is it's not just one type of man. Men will talk to you like, it's because you like this, this type of man. You need to choose better. I'm like, all of y'all are insane. Mm -hmm. Like, I never dated a amongst a rainbow of dudes. Date, not slept with. Let me uh, date. And it, it really doesn't matter what type, because everybody has a different type of personality. But if all y'all are gonna be lying or cheating or doing these weird things, You might. It, it's, it's possible. I just think it's it could be rare. Just. Um. Yeah. I mean, but like I was saying earlier, just for me, and I think. Even with like my first relationship and I was in high school, I even though he was my you know, my first everything. I when things fell apart I wasn't like, Oh I'm so, you know, I'm so that depressed. Was more or less him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just was like, All right, then like I'm young, I got, you know what I mean? Like it, it just didn't phase me. And that it it may be not it may not be a good trick. But I'm not gonna give my all because then that way if I get hurt. People off. Yeah, if I get hurt, then my expectations never high to begin with. And I'm like that. I'm like that with family too. Yeah, that's, that's where I was just thinking. That's just our family though. Yeah, general. we'll cut people yeah. off with the quickness. It's you true. You know, it's not a good thing. And we don't give a damn. And we don't care. We never talk we to us. We don't, even if we love you, we don't care. Yeah, I don't care. All right. Uh, any final words? Thoughts about any of our topics? Oh, I just wish I had a house coat. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're doing the pajama night tonight. Well, my mom started. She said, <laughs> she, you know, she was going to wear her house coat. I was like, don't want to wear mine too because we tired of the bullshit. <laughs> we tired of it. And Nisi, Nisi wouldn't. You said, I don't give a damn. I, I do. So. <laughs> I do. We get it. Look at it sometimes when we get all day. I talk to people all day. And yeah. about this kind of stuff. So, Sometimes I do just be drained, and it's just like, it, it, at some point, it's just like it doesn't make any sense. And then you hear people argue and counter argue, and I'm like, it makes no sense what you're trying to say. <laughs> so I just be having to speak on it sometimes, you know? And I just feel like sometimes we are animals, and the animals are way more intelligent than the humans. They're you know what I mean? mean? It's crazy to me, and we should be identified as a fucking animal. All I can say is, <laughs> I only ended up this way because that life was experience. from life experience. Because I wasn't always like this, but now I was, I was, I was, but I nowadays I hate almost everybody, almost everybody, and I love my race though. But I almost you know what? Hate everyone. I feel like I've only known you for thirty-three years. <laughs> but I feel like, um, I don't know the younger Jay, but I can say you seem to be a little bit more family oriented now. 
like you had to repair when we were younger to where you was like really fat you know involved in family you had to repair it when you weren't and then i feel like now you are back and back you know what i do get what i'm saying i do get what she's saying like the family used to be around each other a lot all the time yeah like when you know we used to um, married to dad and then at a point it kind of stopped i think mama had a point and where she had to like she said, self reflect, yeah. to get herself together. Like, she couldn't now be bothered with nobody. I can't be bothered! She was doing it just like she was doing it. She's like, okay, I can open up the TV now, but I'll still catch you off. Like, there's some things to me that I, I think about just personally, and I'd be like, damn, Mama went through A, B, C, you know, E, F, whatever, D, E, M, G, but she forgave those people. I feel like, damn. I don't know if I would have been able to do that. Hey, it's we all respond differently to different to, to, she, even to the same She's the sweetest person. Y'all can forgive somebody way more than me. I mean, don't, even if I don't be want to, I'll do it just because I'm like, I'll hear people out. But if it becomes rep, repetitious, repetitious <coughs> excuse me, then I just can't do it. Because I know I feel like, okay, like being a kid, somebody do something to you, you have a lot of time to to grow and to you know either forgive or not but with you already being an adult and things happening sometimes we just like f it i'm you know yeah. done to whereas you came back and you know like you accept a lot of people like now. You, mom be like are you done are you finished <laughs> you know what i okay. mean i, I see that's I accept a lot of people that i was really on fire with yeah yeah, yeah. Like, she used to be like nope 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 that's nope, what I mean. nope nope yeah nope. yeah I, I, I see that. <laughs> all right she's more open now yeah yeah don't let that fool, y'all. Okay. Yes. Go too far, but, but um, I think that's all we have tonight. Well, thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for Bye. tuning in. We will see y'all next week with more political commentary. <laughs> Bye.